Hello, hello. Welcome back to Pokemon X. I am much wiser now. Uh, it turns out I actually had to do this thing, uh, the Battle Mason. Um, it, it's pretty much just what I did at the Battle Institute, except I actually won a couple battles. I won eight. I don't think there's any actual number, but you do need to participate in it once. Um, and then from then on, once per day, you can actually come back to town. Head up to the north. And there's a friend waiting for us. Hello. Will you have a battle with me? I think you're in for a surprise. Well, I mean, since you offered. My Pokemon and I will show you what makes it special. And of course you lead it with me, I'll stick. I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball. That works quite well. To take care of Delphox, I'll send out Lapras. Almost one shot Delphox. Invisible Sash. The problem is I got a Spadef drop, so I think I die here. I do. Sad. This is actually perfect for Aegis Slash. I can just Shadow Snake here. I think this is the best way to take care of a Jolteon. Jolteon doesn't really get much coverage. It's fast. It's got electric moves. That's all it has going for it. Doesn't even hit that hard. Well, it was a crit. I'll give you that. Still not much. Goodbye. I think I can outspeed Cliff Fable. If not, I'm probably going to die to like Moonblast or something. But I do have Poison Jab. The problem is Clefable's kind of fat, so you actually might survive this. I don't get stab or anything. Mm hmm. And sure enough, it's a Moonblast. I survived on one HP. Speaking of Invisible Sash. And now you just die here. I really wish I had Lapras and Ice Beam right now, but I think Tarantrum can still take care of this. Alteria survives, so I die here. But once again, this is range for Shadow Sneak, so farewell. And then I descend in Chestnut to sack off and switch Aegis Last back to King's mode. King's shield mode. Whatever you call it. Stance change. Plus I can also heal up. Oh, so this is your mega. Okay. I don't think that you're able to hit hard enough to knock me out while I'm still in shield mode, but we'll see. It does, in fact, knock me out, even in shield Well, okay. I think the crit probably mattered. So now I'm in a bit of a predicament. Okay, I don't like that. Hoping for another defense drop. Excellent. 
I'm actually going to use a revive on Aegis Slash and Shadow Sneak here. So I don't think you have any priority besides Quick Attack, and I'm immune, so goodbye. Two defense drops, doesn't matter that you resist this, I think this just knocked you out here. Sure enough. I'll think about what you did well and use this loss to make me better. That's a spirit. This is for you. Hey, thanks. I would like to have had an Absol on my team in ORS, but here's fine too, I guess. Even though I don't have an Absol. That's right, I found two Absolites. I wanted to share one with you. Maybe it'll help show Lysander there's something to be hopeful for. I have a message from Professor Sycamore. He says that he may have unraveled part of the secret of the Mega Ring and the Mega Stones. He should be waiting by the Sundial in Anastar City. That's what I was hinting at last time. I would like to have gone there, but I went out of order. Where's it at? Here? 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 There we go. Had to heal up first because my Pokemon were basically all dead. Now that's taken care of. You can head up. And sure enough, he's here. Hey, guy. Why, well, hello. Running around all over Kalos is rather... Ac uh, actually rather tiring, is it not? Oh, yeah. I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? Well, at least he's self-aware. Terribly sorry about that. Well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we get to that, however... Let's talk about Mega Stones briefly. Briefly? Are you sure it's brief? My theory is that their special stones are radiated by the light, the energy of the legendary Pokemon Xerneas, fired from the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago. And that's what I think they are. It's even possible that stones like Fire Stones were what turned into these Mega Stones. So what's the Mega Ring that you're holding? That mysterious stone transforms feelings felt towards Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The Mega Stone works in a similar way to how this object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into a mysterious light. For one hour, starting at 8 p.m., the sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has towered over the city here for over 3,000 years. Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now let's get down to the heart of the matter. Ace, try touching the sundial. Give it a good smack. You were exposed to the legendary Pokemon's energy in Team Flare's Secret HQ, and the Mega Ring has absorbed the power of the Sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now it will react to underground Mega Stones, but only when the Sundial is emitting light. I'm sure these stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use this power to find them. Cool. So now I've... for one hour. Well, oh, there's light from this thing, apparently. Actually, what time is it now? It is currently 9.40 p.m. <laughs> so, I've missed that window. Um, but for that one hour window, I, you'll see like sparklies on the ground, and those are Mega Stones. But, all of that is necessary for this incoming message on my Holocaster. <clears throat> Ace, please excuse me. I only need a moment, or perhaps three. There's something I really need to talk about with you. Please come to the Looker Burrow. The building is close to the Road Plaza. I can't say any more right now. I will expect to see you soon. Chapter 1. The Man's a Real Looker. I, I don't know where any of the plazas are, because this entire city is just confusing in general. So I may cut until I get there. Estival Avenue. I don't think that's one I'm looking for. Bruh. Let me leave. Yeah, this may take a bit. I just realized I actually mispronounced it. It's probably pronounced Rouge. You know, French for red. 
This is Magenta Plaza. I think the other direction is blue. Best of all. Wait, I think this is blue. Bruh. Hey, I found Rouge Plaza. Hi. Is it you? Probably not. Is it one of these buildings? Nope. Is it this one? Um. Hey, hey, hey! This restaurant is for selected VIPs only. A little greenhorn like you isn't welcome into a place like this. Get on, have a moose. If you don't scram, I'll throw you out myself. If you don't like it, get famous and then come back. Why, why is she spinning? Wish I could do that. Uh, building across the street, maybe? It was good of you to come. Yes, I need 30 seconds of your time. Or 30 minutes only. 30 minutes, maybe. First, you must know that I have taken the liberty of investigating you, Ace. For example, I can say that you're the newest champion of the Kalos region. Also, I can say that you were the one to save the world from the group known as Team Flare. Good. Very good. I have delayed in giving my introduction. My code name is... No. Ha. I mean to say, my name is Looker. I'm no more than a grand middle-aged man who works in this town as a detective. And now, let us approach the real subject, Ace, my friend. I investigated you, yes. I called you here today, yes. The reasons for these actions? Listen well. Lumiel City. It is a tourist destination whose name is known all over the world. Many kinds of people live here, and even more come to visit and enjoy the atmosphere. The fact is, wherever there are so many people in one place, trouble is never far behind. Trouble beckons me, yes. Trouble troubles me. And so I arrive. And so I open this agency. Bring being a detective, and doing such hard, such work requires a person with a hard-boiled heart. But even a heart that embraces the loneliness can sometimes stumble, falter, doubt. And that's where you come in, kid. I want you to be my assistant. No, more than that, I want you to be my partner. I... I'm honored. If a champion like you and an iron jaw detective like me join forces, I promise we can bring peace to Lumio City. What does your heart say, Ace? Will you partner with me in a fight crime? Hell yeah. For your brave answer, I thank you. Lumio City will regain its tranquility. Well, I wish it could be that easy. Because even though you are a champion, you still are a rookie when it comes to detective work. And that's why I must ask you to enroll in my class in detective and espionage skills. The Looker Method. Yes, even you can become a detective in five easy steps. When you're ready to learn the meaning of hard-boiled, just come and talk to me again. I think I may have come to the right place. What's on the laptop? Nothing. Okay, let's talk to him again. You ready for adventure now? Allow me to explain what you'll be doing. You'll need to find five looker tickets that have been sprinkled about Lumiel City. And then bring them back to me. There's nothing more to it, simple as can be. The looker tickets will be sure to catch your eye with their glitter and sparkles. I want you to succeed, so I've left some hints in my notebook about where to find the tickets. So then, it is time. I wait with you to begin your training. I trust you'll live up to my hopes. Well, I have to now, damn. Incoming message on my holocaster. So now that you're heading off into the city, Ace, I just thought that I would go over the locations of the hidden tickets once again. 1. In the Pokemon Center next to Magenta Plaza. 2. In Centrical Plaza, in the tower illuminating the city. 3. On Vernal Avenue, at a shop selling medicines. 4. On North Boulevard, first floor, in a place where people rest. 5. On North Boulevard, first floor, in a place filled with art. That's it. If you're having trouble, return to the Looker Bureau or read this message again. I wish you luck. We can reread messages? Probably if I restart PSS communications, maybe. I can just come back here if I have that much difficulty. I've already forgotten where to go. 
in the Pokemon Center next to Magenta Plaza. I see some sparkles. Remaining four out of five. Something re is written on the reverse side of the ticket. Congratulations on finding the ticket. Your brilliant deduction has brought you one step closer to becoming a detective. I feel special. In Centrico Plaza, in the tower illuminating the city. Just as I was expected of my colleague to be, Ace, march on, march on. Dive deep into Lumio City. I already hate it here. On Verno Plaza, at a shop selling medicines. If my deductions are correct, I would say that this is the third ticket that you tracked down, which would mean that you're no more, now more than halfway through your training. Lumios is an imposing city, but do your best. On North Boulevard, first floor, in a place where people rest. Another ticket. This ticket must be your fourth ticket. Correct, yes? I imagine you are consumed with curiosity. How could I possibly know this? Is he watching me record this? Kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. One left. And it's found on North Boulevard. First floor. In a place filled with art. I assume it's here. Okay. I go on this side. Would you like to enter? Yes, please. Um... No, I'm good, thanks. I'm just here to find a shiny. Oh, sparkles. Hey, look at that. You're hiding it. Congratulations, you found a ticket. If you gathered all five tickets, make your way straight to the Lurker Bureau. The training continues until we meet again. Remember that, Brave Ace. I like this guy. Always so upbeat. I can't leave. Bruh. Hey, I'm back. Nine, twelve, three, four. Uh, is that French? I don't think that's actually French. Fifth. Five looker tickets. Congratulations, Ace. You have completed your training using my patented course, the looker method. Yes, even you can become a detective in five easy steps. You should consider shortening that title. From this day onward, you are a fully-fledged, completely boiled detective. Hard-boiled. With that accomplished, let me re let me issue my request once more. Be my crime-fighting partner. No, I can't say no to that face. Excellent. It will be an honor for you to serve as an official member of the Looker Bureau, and as a partner to the one and only Looker. I'll send you a message on your Holocaster whenever we have a job to do. To complete my patented training course, the Looker Method. Yes, even you can become a detective in five easy steps. In so little time, and with such ease, Ace, you truly are a masterful trainer. The big case on which I have been at work, it is a certainty. We will crack this case together. And, as for what is past, old friend, be patient. Justice will be served. Enough for all. Okay, then. Um, so I, do I just, oh, I see. Ace, it is I, Looker. I want you, to, or I want to talk to you about something important. Could you come to the L Looker Bureau, please? I was just there, but okay. I have returned. Ace, you here. You got my message on the Holocaster, in fact. Then I needed three minutes only. It is this. We have a case to solve. I count on your help, Ace. Let us put our partnership to the test. My notes are on the desk. Take 30 seconds to read up on the case. 30 seconds? Am I being timed on this? Looker's Notebook. Case open. A rep from Lumio, City's, Lumio City Mother's Group. Kids in Lumio City seem to be spending a lot of time in back alleys recently. What are they up to in these shadowy, suspicious places? Inquiring mothers want to know. 
My son is about to take the entrance exam for an elite school for future ace trainers. I can't have him do anything stupid and get a black mark on his academic record. We must do something to make kids stop hanging out in those suspicious alleys. Reward enough dough to last for a week. Mmm, that's a lot of bread. Chapter 2 In the Back Alleys. All right up and ready to go. Good. The first thing I wanted to do is visit those dark alleys in Lumio City, find out where kids are hanging out, and get the lockdown on or get the lowdown on the situation. Think you can handle it? I mean, they are children. <laughs> children. Ugh. Okay, well, might as well. There are a number of alleys here in Lumio City. Somewhere in one of them, you should find those kids. Yes, yes, indeed. Hmm. My gut tells me there's something fishy about the alley leading off South Boulevard. When you've got a gut boiled as hard as mine, it's worth paying attention to. Start your investigations on South Boulevard. I'll join you when I can. Oh wait, here's an idea. I need three seconds. To help you on your way, I'll jot down the locations of all the alleys in my notebook. You've got this, Ace. Fear not. Off to the dark alleys of Lumiel City. Actually, I should probably go read the notebook first, shouldn't I? I... I go back in. Thank you. Alleys in Lumiel City. South Boulevard beside Restaurant Lena. North Boulevard across from the Galette Stand. North Boulevard across from Lumiel Station. North Boulevard besides Cafe Trist. Okay. South Boulevard. There's supposedly a secretive little back alley somewhere. Somewhere. This is a suspicious back alley. But probably not the suspicious back alley. I got lost and somehow ended up here. I feel that. How about helping amuse a poor lost girl like me? Sure. Well, considering you're a grown-ass woman, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. The people who never get lost also never lose sight of the goal in battle either. I... Oh, is she a phantom? I think I need to find a restaurant in Lina, wherever the hell that is. I... I think it's actually right here on the main road. This actually might be it up here. Maybe this was it. Wait, no, this is the uh, spot where you trade... With Diantha. Which, technically, I never actually did, because I restarted, so... Xerneas is still in the party, or in the... Box. Shutterbug Cafe, and I think this leads off... Yeah. I'm already lost. I accidentally walked down the back alley. I... I... I'm just trying to talk to signs I end up walking inside buildings. You know, between the bad camera and the really not that great layout, this is not a good city. Cafe Cyclone. Camera refuses to turn here. Oh, that's Restaurant Lana. Is this the actually the back alley I was supposed to be down? This is where I met him for the first time, and where he disappeared from my life. My love disappeared into the dark shadows of the alleys. Do you understand that pain? No, I can't say that I do. He just disappeared. And now so will you. I don't like the way she looked into the... Okay, that's terrifying. Oh, there's a back alley here. That skiddo makes cute noises when it sleeps. I do too. Huh? Who are you? This is our secret base. You're a grown-up. You're not allowed in. Well, if you think you're coming in, you're gonna have to beat me in a battle. I'm about to murder four children, and there's no one here to watch. I'm Willy Willy Thwong. Yeah, but I'm even stronger than you. And you? What a worthless little sister I have. Bruh. Little children have absolutely zero filter. Last chance if you want to run away. 
He can beat me in my Pokemon in battle. The bigger they are, the harder to fall. You're about two and a half feet tall, and you still fall pretty hard. You there, you're not too shabby. But can you beat me? Bring it if you got the guts. This is our own private paradise. Take off and leave us in peace. See, I can't just do that when there's kids that are just minding their own business. I have to ruin the fun somehow. You, um, you really want me, want to get in here, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, I already took down your friends. I might as well just beat you to the ground, too. So I figure I'm going to have to fight you. He's humming and hawing over here, but he still brought a spirit to him. Only weakness is fairy. I don't have any fairy tale moves. I figured I'd lose anyway. Now it's up to Mimi to save us. But there's more of you. Pardon, pardon. It took a while to find you. How's the investigation going, Ace? Do you have any news to report? I just meowed at him. Did you hear that cry? I feel like it came from deeper inside the alley. Rar. Hello. Why? It's a Pokemon. But to threaten humans like that, it is apparently none too gentle. You may consider this threat or this area its territory. Yep, old man, you got that right. Who's there? Show yourself. Oh, nobody special. But this little sweetie right here is Mimi. That's what I named it anyway. Then this is your Pokemon? In which case, would you mind returning it to his Pokeball for a bit? What Pokeball? Pardon? I'm not a trainer. Mimi's my friend. I have no money to buy Pokeballs, so I can't be a trainer. You get it? Anyway, Mimi and I don't need friends. Or don't need a Pokeball to be friends. Of course, I get it. Please forgive my error. My name is Looker. I work as a detective. May I introduce my partner, Ace? Nah, shucks. I'm just... I just started, and you already called me your partner. It's so sweet. If you will permit me to ask Mimi's friend, I am interested in what you're all doing here. Well, we're all playing, that's all. Everybody here is a friend of mine. What are you asking for? Do you want to join or something? What? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, don't do it. This is our kid. This is our secret base, kids only. No grown-ups allowed. I thought he was saying that for a second. I'm like, he's really adamant about not wanting to be friends with children. Put a sock in it. Play nice, both of you. How would you like to get left out just because you're old and stuff? Bruh. Again, children have no filter. You seem to have a good group of friends playing together here. Why'd you pick a dark alley like this one to play in? The meal city is filled with plazas and open spaces and sunny corners. Flowers can't bloom without sunshine, and neither can young folks, you know? Oh, really? Well, Mimi and I have always lived in Alley, so I don't know much about sunshine. I'm the same way. I live inside and, and don't like to touch grass, so... Yeah, I feel that. You live in an alley? I... To be fair, I don't live in an alleyway. You and Mimi? And your family? They... They're gone. I'm alone. I see. Well, but... But Mimi is sort of my family. We stick together. Indeed. Indeed. I, Looker, have struck upon an idea. A genius idea. And here it is. Friend of Mimi, I invite you to stay at my office, the Looker Bureau. You may work as my assistant, and, in exchange, you may live at the office. Don't you already have an assistant? Ahem, <clears throat> I'm just saying. I, myself live elsewhere in a hotel. So you'll have it all to yourself after hours. What? It is not to imply that anything's wrong with a free life in the alleys, but to have a home to shelter you from the cold and the rain. There is joy in having work to do each day and your efforts seen and appreciated. This idea is genius, even for me. And Mimi, are you on board too? It wouldn't be the same without you. What? Why did Mimi run off? Mimi gets scared pretty easy. Afraid of humans, I guess. Especially grown-ups. Hey, Mr. Looker guy. For a minute there, I was kind of happy that you invited me to stay with you. You're pretty cool. But I can't. Mimi likes it better here. And I can't leave Mimi behind. 
We stick together. Hold on. Mimi may grow to like me in time. But even if not, we can try a new angle. At a time like this, it helps to have a partner you can count on. Partner? Indeed. Ace, your assignment is to befriend Mimi. You can do it. Uh... Okay. I guess. Um... Can you handle it, Ace? If you succeed in making friends with Mimi, it may accept me as well. I'm your partner, after all. Yes, Ace, I'm counting on you. I've got to go find an Esper. Wonderful. Got a message to Mahala, Caster. Ace, I've received a tip from the children. I judge it most important, and it may be of use to you. Mimi apparently doesn't like being petted by strangers. It is imperative that you check the alleys where Mimi is known to stroll around. To be precise, across from the Galette Stand, across from Lumio Station, right next to Cafe Triste. The entrances to these alleys are all found on North Boulevard. Au revoir, and out. I wish you luck. Checking down the first dark alleyway that I came across. I don't see any... Mimi? Anywhere? Oh, hello, Mimi. It's me, a friend. Mimi is looking at you. What are you gonna do? Sing, pet it, dance, smile, nudge it. I'm a smile. Mimi ran off somewhere with the hint of a smile. That's good. Already starting to warm up to us. Another dark alleyway. Another Mimi. What are you gonna do? I kinda wanna smile again. Run off somewhere with a hint of a smile. We have to do this all three times. Probably. Is this Mimi? I don't think this is Mimi, is it? Hissa. I don't think that's the same one. Yet another alleyway. I would assume to see a Mimi here. Always on the same side, it looks like. Sing, dance, smile. Basically, you just don't want to touch the Pokemon. What if I dance? Oh. Was I just supposed to say dance the whole time? That just waste all the time? I probably did. It's always best to be smiley and friendly, though, I suppose. I have a new friend. Mimi seems to have taken the shine to you. Ace, are you wicked or what? How'd you get Mimi to like you so fast? I... I... I just did the moonwalk, apparently. It's effective. You have proven your worth as my partner. Well, friend of Mimi, problem solved. All set? It's time for you to graduate from life on the streets and join the Looker Bureau as my assistant. Okay. I'm ready, as long as Mimi's with me. I'm pretty curious to find out what a detective does. A detective is a hard-boiled kind of person. Left Simmer on the stove for about 15 minutes. Then you can run us under cold water to crack open our skin. Anyway. Let us make our way to the liquor, liquor bureau with our new assistants. Wow. So this is the liquor, liquor Bureau. It's a little hard to read that. I, I'm not very good at pronouncing my R's and Liquor Bureau is just pain to read out loud. It's sure warmer than the alley. It's gonna be great, huh, Mimi? Please make yourself comfortable. From today on, you'll be working here as my assistant. And you may live here as long as you choose. 
I seem to have forgotten my manners. Pardon me for not asking your name. What do you prefer to go by? Or shall we stick with friend of Mimi? Who, me? I'm just Emma. Nice to meet you. Emma, is it? Indeed a pretty name. The case of the kids in the alleys is now closed. With Emma staying here instead, the kids will stop making the alleys their second home. Ace, I'll send a message on your holocaster the next time we get a case. I look forward to it indeed. Emma and Mimi. I was absolutely right to invite them to stay here. Truly genius, no doubt. What I don't know is if enough work will appear to keep food on our table. I guess I'll roll up my sleeves and concentrate on my mission. This is what it means to be a hard-boiled detective. I think that this is probably going to be a decent spot to pause for a bit. I've already been recording for about an hour, and I'm not exactly sure how much time is actually going to be on the video so far, considering I don't think I really want to edit too much of this out. This is, from what I've read online, this goes so in-depth with giving a massive story to Looker and to some additional characters that I don't want to cut too much out. But at the same time, I think there's a lot more to go. So I think here's going to be a good spot. So, kind of a bit of a cliffhanger, because we're in the middle of all these missions. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm having a lot of fun. This is actually kind of interesting. A uh, little side mission, side questing at the very end of the game. It's kind of cool. It's also really kind of getting into a little bit more of the darker aspects of just real life, I guess. I mean, a little orphan girl on the streets. And then the guy that takes her in is like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to have enough food on the table. Like, that's that's not something you expect to see in a kid's game, right? It, I, I kind of missed that aspect of Pokemon where they weren't afraid to really touch on the... I... I, I don't have any better word for it. The darker aspects of real life, I guess. I'm kind of enjoying it. In a weird sort of way, I guess. But if you guys are enjoying the series so far, there's only a couple episodes left, I'm thinking. And if you're enjoying Looker, he's an amazing character. Feel free to drop a like for Looker. And if you leave a dislike, I'm banning you. I'm kidding. Feel free to leave a dislike. It actually does not hurt my feelings. And you can even leave a comment saying Looker is awesome. I'm just saying. And if you're interested in catching some live streams, because I do try to live stream whenever I'm able to, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, where we continue the Looker Bureau saga, take care.